Welcome to the Sandbox Trainee. In this training, we'll use simple behaviors to create custom interactions between objects. We'll explore some behaviors that use AI decision-making. These are programmed to detect and respond in certain ways to other objects that have specific tags or identifiers. Tags are included when a behavior is added to an object to make it easy to build with objects and that are ready to interact. First, let's look at some default settings. We'll start with prey and predator. We'll place a stag asset, select it, and add the prey behavior. If we scroll down, we can see that the prey tag is automatically added to it. Next, we'll add a gray wolf asset, select it, and choose the predator behavior. If we scroll down, we'll see that the predator tag is automatically added to this. Now, if we hit tab to test, we'll notice the predator will detect the prey and attack and or chase it. The prey will detect the predator and flee. Predators will also chase any avatar tag because it's one of the default tags for them to attack. Now, let's look at some custom targets. We'll use plant, farmer, and prey. If we select our prey, we'll notice that it has a food tag and a hostile tag to flee. Let's add an object with the plant tag for it to detect. We'll place a small plant B down and add the plant component to it. We'll scroll to the bottom and type the tag plant with a capital P. This is case sensitive. We'll hit enter to apply. Now let's duplicate using control D and put many of these around the area. Now. Let's place a tinkerer asset down and we'll apply the farmer behavior. Its default tags to gather is already plant. It will also flee hostile tags, such as a predator. Now, if we press tab to test, we'll watch the prey and the farmer wander, walk up to plants, and make them disappear after short grazing or harvesting animation. They will also flee if the predator is detected nearby. Now let's add some plants without the plant tag to our scene. If we hit tab to test, we'll notice that the prey only interacts with plants that have the plant tag. You can use tags to have specific objects identified differently in your game, even though they look the same or are a similar type of prop. Let's look at changing tags during play. We'll use soldier and citizen. We'll place an axeman recruit and apply a soldier behavior. Its tags by default to attack are hostile. Now we'll place an elder caveman and give it a citizen behavior. If we hit tab to test, we cannot attack the citizen because it has a built-in friendly tag. The soldier will ignore us until we attack it, upon which it will apply the hostile tag to the avatar for the rest of the game. If we exit play mode and then re-enter later, the game is reset, so the hostile tag will be cleared from your avatar. Lastly, let's look at some custom AI interactions. We'll do some melee enemy versus melee enemy. For our group A, we'll place three Maximilian objects together. We'll select all of them and apply these changes in the property panel. We'll make them all melee enemy. Next to tags to attack, we'll click the X to remove the avatar tag and we'll add group B, capital G, capital B in the text box. We'll scroll to the bottom of the properties panel and we'll write group A to add that tag. For our group B, we'll place three Matthew assets. Select them all. We'll also make these melee enemies. We'll make their tag to attack be group A. And then scrolling to the bottom, we'll add the group B tag to all of them. Now, if we hit tab to test, group A and group B will detect each other's tags and fight. Feel free to select each group, duplicate it a few times to create a small army of dueling NPCs. 
Combine a variety of AI-driven behaviors and use tags to direct their decision-making. Explore these ideas in your own. Do you want players to join a side in battle? Add the avatar tag to any enemy's tags to attack. Or want fighters to be revived during battle? Use the healer behavior with tags to heal. There are many other behaviors to explore, but you've learned the basics of controlling object actions by applying behaviors and custom tags. 